Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another card review. So in this video, we're going to have a very, very special uh, video, right? This, we are going to explain all the five cards here instead of one, right? So Investiture of God is finally receiving its Awakening Recall, right? So they are going to join the 12 Zodiacs, right? To receive Awakening Recall. So let's take a look at what changes uh, is being offered to these five cards right here. Alright, so let's take a look at the first card here, Wen Zhong. Right, so Wen Zhong has been always uh, in the meta, right, compared to all the other the other four Investiture of God cards. Right, so Wen Zhong is pretty much the most played among the, the five, right, and then uh, it's usually put in most water teams, especially in the Atlantis team, right, because Atlantis uh, removing the removing hard runes, right, actually give Atlantis more. Um, burst power as well as more recovery because Atlantis made use of water runes to recover. Right, so let's take a look at what changes Wen Zhong have. So basically, upon getting AR, right, every time you dissolve, in every turn, you dissolve all water runes, first batch only, it's gonna reduce its own CD by 2. Right, this means that every turn, you can actually reduce Wen Zhong's CD by 3, right, including the actual turn itself, and then on top of that, minus 2 CD. So if you have if you have Wen Zhong at all max, in which you should, because that's the requirement to awaken recall the card. Right? So you can actually charge up Wen Zhong as fast as three turns. Right? Uh, I find that this is gonna be very very game changing, right? especially in the Atlantis team because everyone complains that um, Cassandra gets really gets really quick quicker than Wen Zhong. And Wen Zhong, despite um, charging up the cooldown slightly longer, it doesn't have this on-off function like Cassandra does. Right, so by um, charging Wen Zhong's AR, right, you can actually off and on Wen Zhong pretty quick, uh, pretty often. Right, then on top of that, that actually charges Atlantis um, active skill as well. Right, so this is gonna be a big change in Wen Zhong and then of course a big boost uh, in terms of the meta as well. Right, so of course Wen Zhong ha has already been in the meta, right? So this is gonna make him more prevalent. So let's take a look at the next card. Right, so we're gonna move on to the next attribute which is fire. So we have Dipankara here or previously known as Randeng. Right, so everybody was expecting Randeng to get uh, or Dipankara to get the same treatment as AR Gemini because they are both um, enchanted hard converters, right? But in my opinion, I find that that's gonna be a bit too broken if all attributes are gonna have the same effect, right? In which they didn't do it, so I'm kind of glad they didn't. <laughs> right, so Dipankara here have received a slightly different AR than Gemini, right? So basically, every turn, uh, for every one group of hard runes you dissolve, Dipankara is gonna launch an extra fire attack to the max four times. Right, so in my opinion, I don't think it's that bad of a skill, right? but nonetheless, uh, it, it is still uh, pretty weak in terms of um, AR standard. Right, so of course, AR Gemini takes takes the, the crown for total damage done over time. Right, so for Dipankara, there is no accumulated multiplier. This means that uh, in one turn, if you dissolve one group of hard runes, it's gonna launch one extra attack. The next turn, if you launch, if you dissolve no hard runes, it launches one attack only. Right. So, uh, in terms of damage output, this guy is gonna be fluctuating a lot, right, based on the number of hard runes you dissolve. Right. So, if you want to play a bit more dangerously, you can actually put Dipankara AR into a maybe a Sakura team, right, in which there is plenty and plenty of hard rune sky drop. And then you you can kind of make Dipankara launch to the max four extra attacks. Uh, but of course the downside is uh, you won't get that tumbler effect because you're not running a mono elf setup. Right, so overall I think Dipankara is one of the weaker AR among the investi investiture of gods. Right, so let's move on to the next one. Right, so next up would be Yang Jian. Right, so Yang Jian here is gonna be the same active skill as uh, Achilles, Beowulf, um, etc., which is um, attribute convert. Right, of the enemy. So basically what we have here, Yang Jian, I think it's gonna be this guy is at C D ten if I remember correctly. Right, upon entering the battle with amelioration, max amelioration or max. Right, so basically its AR is the same as Wen Zhong, right? If you dissolve first batch only every 
all the earth runes on the board, right? Self CD minus two. So basically, as I mentioned earlier, every turn uh, there's a chance of it to reduce the CD by three every round, right? So this guy can get ready up as fast as three turns or four turns, right? So take a uh, you have to note that these guys. Yang Jian here is gonna be one of the best, right? In fact, I'm gonna rank this maybe second. Maybe Wen Zhong will be first, and Yang Jian second, right? Yang Jian here basically, uh, with this AR, basically just overtaken VR Shu, right? The divergent version of VR Shu. Right? VR Shu, uh, divergent form is at CD five, converts three runes, right? At the same time, if if it's not water attribute, it's gonna convert the enemy to water. Right, but it doesn't greatly increase your damage right? uh, it's, There's a slight difference in terms of Yang Jian's active skill And Divergent Shu's active skill Which is the Earth Egyptian God right, So uh, this is pretty much going to throw um, Divergent Shu into a corner In my opinion now, Unless you want to bring Shu because of its bulky HP Right, so in terms of active skill, I think that Yang Jian is going to be back and then Shu is going to be more of a less used kind of thing. Right, so moving on to the next card. Alright, so we are back here with Mr. Carrot Guy, right, which has his own unique attack animation with falling carrots. Right, Jiang Ziya here is going to receive an AR as well. Right, so basically we have a very special kind of AR condition right here. So upon getting um, Awakening Recall, Jiang Ziya here, when HP is max, Self attack times four, right? Otherwise, self attack times two, right? So upon getting AR, you can see that you will have an increase in stats, as well as a base multiplier of two, right? So if your HP is not at maximum, right, um, in which most of the time it should be, right, it's gonna be at times two multiplier, right? If not, if your HP is max, it's gonna be at times four. Right, but the problem is Jiang Ziya has been seldom used right, in the light team because light has been um, circulating around more of a Maya playstyle or maybe a Lucifer playstyle. Right? But nonetheless, Jiang Ziya here right, it can be a good candidate for Maya right? because Maya has very very high recovery and most of the time uh, Maya should be at full HP right? unless you have some sort of like a poison skill and stuff like that. Okay, otherwise, Maya should be at full HP, in which Jiang Ziya is going to get its maximum potential at times four self attack, right? But uh, and one more thing is that Jiang Ziya actually um, active skill actually synergized slightly with Maya, right? With dark conversion to enchanted hard runes, meaning there is still light runes on the board as well as enchanted hard runes for offensive burst, right? So uh, for Players that have Maya but have limited members, right, can consider to AR Jiang Ziya here, right, which can actually assist in Maya kind of play style. Right, so let's move on to the last card of the day. Ah, Sheng Gong Bao, where have you been? Right, <laughs> Sheng Gong Bao has basically been um, exiled from the TOS realm, right, and I believe that it's gonna be exiled still, right, even with this AR, which is quite a pity right so let me explain so basically what Sheng Gong Bao have as an AR skill is the opposite of Jiang Ziya right so uh, having said that if your HP it is when your HP is not at maximum right it's self attack is at times 4 if you have full HP self attack times 2 so it's literally the opposite of Jiang Ziya Right, so some people might be complaining uh, what kind of stupid skill is this it's basically um AR skill is to synergize with Sheng Gong Bao's playstyle, which is his leader skill. Right, the lower the HP, the higher uh, the multiplier. Right, but nowadays we don't really play a lot of Trojan playstyle. Right, that has been long gone, and it was never the meta. Right, it was kind of a rare playstyle, and it's definitely not relevant in uh, meta nowadays. Right, so, uh, anyways, having said that, um. AR Sheng Gong Bao can be played in a, as a member, right, in any sort of dark team. Right, but the problem is how do you keep your HP below full HP? Alright, so uh, the Elf Perennial Ultimate Stage card, uh, Papaver, right, actually 
reduce your HP by 1% for every step you move, right? So that is one possible card to use um, to kind of re reduce your HP uh, from you know 100%. Well, another possible card to use is actually VR Thought, right? That actually chips off your HP and then make every rune have possession of dark effect, right? So I'm just listing a few um, cards out from my head from the back of my head right so hopefully you guys can do a bit of thinking on your own and then consider whether you want to ar um, shangong bao or not all right so this is going to be my card review for the entire series of investiture of gods so basically i'm going to rank wen zhong as number one yang jian as number two and then followed by the other three cards in which i find that they are pretty mediocre in terms of um, their ar skill right but it might be entirely different based on what kind of cards you have uh, in your inventory or what kind of uh, teams you have um, best or what's your best team in your account right so uh, this is my review overall on this AR version right nonetheless we still I still feel that the 12 zodiac especially AR Gemini still take the crown um, in this whole um, AR kind of play style right so overall this is my opinion right so f feel free to leave your opinion in the comments below as well I would really want to take a look at your opinion right so this is this has been card review for investiture of gods so if you like this video do give it a like and then as usual i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye